we're a table eight restaurant um, right on Melrose Avenue. I've been here for about five years and I'm still enjoying every single minute of it. I cannot complain. It's just one of those restaurants where you can come in and either spend a lot of money if you feel like it and have a big celebration or come in and have something a little more casual and just sit in the lounge and have a drink and a few little snacks off the lounge menu. I was not your average 13-year-old, I guess. I've always been very passionate about cooking, and I wasn't going to the beach like all the other kids, and I really was reading The Joy of Cooking, or the Graham Kerr, the Galloping Gourmet, you know, all the stuff that my mother had laying around was, for some reason, really interested me. I would cater my mother's parties, you know, I think I started doing that around 11 or 12. My mother used to entertain a lot. She would always have people over, and I'd love to just be in the kitchen and help her out, and eventually I took over and I was 12 and I'd do all the shopping, I'd do all the prep work and make all these silly little lists and I would really get into it. My mother's friend's daughter was at one of my mother's parties and she was wondering who the caterer was. She thought the food was great and it was really fun and my mother told her, it's, you know, it's Gobi. He's in the kitchen, you should go say hi. And she, knowing that I was like 12 or whatever, like came back and just sort of started laughing. She was training to be the lead waitress at this restaurant. She was telling me all about it, this um, chef, Wolfgang Puck, and I didn't really know who he was. I wasn't even about to fake it. I'm like, okay, you know, it, it sounded great. I, a dream of mine was always to be in a restaurant and just to see how it operated from the inside out. And um, he basically offered me a, an apprenticeship, and it was incredible. It was like definitely some of the best experience I've ever had. really wanted to have a restaurant where people can come in, feel comfortable. You know, it's like I wanted to get all the executives in, but at the same time, you know, it's like I want to get the, their assistants in as well so they can, you know, everyone's got to eat, right?